Hi, I'm Steve Perkins, the director of the Vermont Historical Society, and today we're here at the Vermont History Museum talking about a salute to Vermont, a mural by Paul Sterrett Sample, a very well-known mid-century artist who painted this piece, which is surrounding me, for the National Life Company in 1959. It's now here in the lobby of the History Museum, and we use it as an introduction on how to look at history, how to think at history, and it's also just kind of a beautiful piece. So, you know, Paul had a, a quite long career as a distinguished artist, both as an art professor in Southern California and then as an artist for the Works Progress Administration, and then finishing out his career at Dartmouth College as the artist in residence, where he lived in Norwich with his wife Sylvia. Now, he had a bit of connection to the National Life Company. Sylvia, his wife, was a daughter of Frank Howland, who in the night from the 19 teens to the 1930s was president of the National National Life Company. So National Life Company had a marketing plan that took advantage of its location here in Vermont. And a lot of the stories that we had about Vermont history, so this idea of Vermont exceptionalism um, certainly was at play. That We had a lot of great things that happened here in Vermont and we're using that to both tell the story of the state but also advertise these as the values of the company. So they hired Paul Sample to do a monumental mural for their brand new headquarters which was being built on the hill overlooking Montpelier. The building is still there and still their headquarters today. It had to be a weird shape, had to be 50 feet long by eight feet high to meet the wall specifications in that lobby. So that was his first challenge. Paul had to come up with a history of Vermont in a 50 foot mural, but he also had to please a corporation. So when you look at this work of art, you're both seeing an artist's impression of what the history of the state is. You're also looking at what the corporation wanted the viewer to see as the history of the state. So these are all these different layers that we look at when we think about art and we think about history. I think he did a phenomenal job of cramming a lot of Vermont history uh, into one place, keeping in mind that he was painting this in the 1950s. He traveled all over the state of Vermont painting and drawing and sketching at historic house museums and museums and private collections so that he could try to get the right gun, the right farming implement, the right machine to tool so that his mural would be as accurate as possible. And then to meld them all together into this story of Vermont. He starts his story, for, for good or for bad, with Samuel de Champlain coming into his namesake lake, the Lake Champlain, the Champlain Valley, and then takes it through history um, to a group of students graduating from UVM in 1959-1960. And in between, he looks at this idea of progress. This is a very 1950s thing, to think about what does progress mean often and it meant financial or goods or manufacturing. So you see people arriving in the state. You see Ethan Allen, you, you see Fort Ticonderoga, you see the Battle of Bennington, and then you start moving up into blacksmiths, kind of forging this future of Vermont, to merino sheep, to marble, the state house. Up through behind me, we see the Morgan horse and the modern Vermont flag, and then another nod to his own history. There's his father-in-law, Frank Howland, walking up the steps of the National Life Head headquarters before it moved up onto the hill above Montpelier. The mural then goes on with the granite industry, farming, and what he thought the future of Vermont would be was the machine tool industry. Of course, in the 1950s, the machine tool industry was just humming along down in the Precision Valley of Springfield and Windsor, and so he prominently shows hands working in that machine tool industry. And then a quick nod to where we were going. He shows the ski industry and the rise of tourism in Vermont. So this is a very, very quick tour of this mural. I encourage you all to visit us here at the Vermont History Museum. Take a while to look at all of the elements of this mural. Be a historian. What do you see? What do you not see? What would you add to this mural? You can also visit us online at vermonthistory.org uh, or on social media.